What's up, y'all? We're back. Uh, we got the Fever Part 3 album list coming to you. Um, it's been a couple days, and I know I mentioned that I'm going to be, at least I was planning on uh, completing this part of the the album and stuff. Even, I think I might have even said, like, the epilogue as well for Fever I, in the previous videos that I posted in terms of what I was planning to do that same recording session. And obviously I didn't. New day, couple day delay and stuff. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't. I would think I was being a little bit too much of a lore head. Um, again, all unintentional in the sense that this is what I want to do. Um, so it's not like I think I need an increased emphasis. It's just that's where my head was at at that point. And I'm fine with that. Because I, 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 I watch stuff how I watch stuff. You know, this is just like me being normal, but in front of a kid. Whatever. Um, but I was listening to Deja Vu um just like you know doing whatever that i was doing and i was like oh shit this is a really good song and i feel like i kind of missed that, that that a little bit um so i want to i wanted to slow it down a little bit reset my brain and then you know get into the music and appreciate it as it is even though i still did it's just i don't know i, I want to let things hit me more naturally and you know that's the whole point so, I'm really excited to get into this album. Uh, let's do it. Alright, we're going to start with Feeling Like I Do. Um, Eternal Sunshine and Deja Vu I will not be including in this just because we're going to get to it for the live reaction. So we have four new songs and I'm really excited about it. So let's start with Feel Like I Do. Feeling Like I Do. This that game on very quickly. What does this remind me of? This reminds me of a song they've made already. Oh my god, I don't know. They the way they made the beat all wavy. That's for sure not how it's actually supposed to be <laughs> described. It just feels like when Mingy's verse started it got wavy. Um all right, let's start this over. Let's see if I can process it a little better. sound like It's giving, ooh, I don't use that phrase. Um, not there's anything wrong with it, it's just I don't say that, so I don't know why I start saying that now. Um, it sounds, I can't pinpoint a specific song, despite there being many examples of their B, like, of AT's having a B-side with the same structure, and like the kind of empty-ish chorus, like real, real like, 2011 to 20. 13, 14 U.S. pop stylings, uh, which I love. I I I really like that. Uh, the, like that bass pop structure. Um, yeah, I I paused it because I thought I was gonna be able to come up with one of the songs, but I don't know. My mind's feeling kind of blank, which I think is cool. It's like a blank canvas for '80s to paint all over. All right, <laughs> press, play. press play. No more metaphors. Like Batman, the Molly, we 
Okay. Your song bridge. That was just good, clean pop music. That was really nice. I really enjoyed that song. Um, it definitely, again, I wish I had the ability to call back any of the songs that they made that are similar to this. Um, and they're always, they're always, um, always usually, just not even the right phrase. Um, they're typically in the beginning of the albums as well. It kind of they, they use these types of like ultra classic pop sound and structure to like really kick off the album and then they get crazy so i'm really excited about what's coming up um mingi killed it he's really standing out to me uh every single song i guess that's why he's my bias that's my dog official bias announcement that's that's mingi that's the homie um also I, not related to the song at all i'm recording this on hong jung's birthday shout out to you um it's getting posted on his no, on November 7th, uh, like, in um, the U.S., so I'm recording it on his Korean birthday, posting it, American birthday, all that jazz, shout out to the captain, that's the fucking big dog, uh, <laughs> I'm all over the place today, um, let's get to Rocky, oh, I noticed that this has its own, like, on the Spotify, uh, like, charts, it's like, boxer version or something i just whatever this is is what i'm going with um i'm sure there's more versions that i would be uh, uh obliged to listen to so just let me know if i'm hopefully this is at least the right one in this case all right rocky yes i'm rocky feel like i'm rocky dance on the floor feel like i'm rocky yes i'm rocky feel like i'm rocky did they start like that was a fucking the baby racing the beat that started like at Point one seconds. Yes, I'm rocking. Immediately. Dance on the floor, feel like I'm rocking. Yes, I'm rocking, feel like I'm rocking. Dance on the floor, dance on the floor. Ooh, they really stripped that back a lot. This is totally um like training montage music which makes sense like rocky dance on the floor feel like i'm rocky yes i'm rocky feel like i'm rocky dance on the floor dance I feel so empty. What's this chorus gonna be? Mm. 
Mm, I love how they slow the tempo up. Ooh, I love what they do with the bass. Oh, hold on, that, like, that was nice. Got a fix on from Mingi, I needed that. So, before we get into that, this seems really... Not on the nose, because I don't, like, there's no concept I know of that they're, like, trying to go for. Anyway, I bring it up because it's... It seems like they made this genuinely as like an OST for something. Not OST, like I don't know. It's supposed to be accompanied with some type of video or anything, um, like another piece of content, or they're just fantasizing about being boxers, which is cool. Honestly, it's, everyone has that low key. Um, <laughs> all right, let's keep going. He looks so good in this picture. I knew it was gonna hit differently. I knew it was gonna come back in a little different. What was that? I'm obviously gonna hear it again. That like it almost scared me. Like there was something in the the back right part of my head, like a super. I'll, I'll point it out. Later. I don't. I, I I have the headphones loud as shit, so maybe it's something that it's not really super prominent for. For y'all, but I they can't it's like like someone hit one string of an electric guitar that's tuned up really, really high, and it just like let it fucking vibrate hard. I don't know, like it's it's it, it's so sharp, it like pierces through everything. Only in the right side of my headphones too. Now it's resonating more. Yeah, so it's for sure just a guitar. And I, I really like the way they finished that up. This is... This is, has to be associated with something. It got its own, like, version. And it's got its own, like... Like, something. Something about this song is special. Um, in the way they're releasing things. And again, I don't mean lore, whatever. I just mean, like, genuinely... Because this is, this is the most they've stuck to a, a concept, at least that I've noticed, like, lyrically, and also sonically. Like, it, it just sounds like, it's like a training montage song. It's a, it's a song you put on to go to the gym. And it's a great, like, I, I, I will be doing that. Um, I don't know, let me know what this was accompanied with, because it had, there has to be something. <laughs> something that I'm missing. Um, let's go to All About You. That was, that was a really good song. I'm not gonna lie. I won't lie to you. That was a good song. Nobody love you like I do Nobody 
Very underrated part of Hong Jung's rapping, ever his ability, is that for songs like this, he could really he's so good at adjusting to the song. Like you could have like vocal talent that allows you to do it, like recite words in a manner that is like actively difficult and requires talent to do, but they prefer like you still need that ability to be malleable you have to be able to change your flow change the cadence change the way you pronu pronounce things like it's a super like it was like molasses kind of flowing out of his mouth vibe it was he was hitting the, hitting it a little quicker but like he's it's it's quick words but i don't know it feels so smooth and I don't know, you just need to be able to do that. And I love Hong Jung and Mingi both. They're so good at adjusting to the sound. Like it, I, I guess you could say this is singing. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know n enough about, like, the actual n real uh, concepts about singing, rapping, the distinctions between the two. But I, I only say that because he's still hitting, like, like, the tone of a rap a little bit, but it's his voice is so breathy that it just, it feels like, feels so light because Mingy's voice is fucking thick. It's heavy, it's deep. <laughs> so being able to like, I don't know, change it that much is so nice. another great song it's wild the difference in tone that fever part three like has compared to part two part two i've been effusive about that album out here more times than i uh, i can count but i don't know it just there it felt like they were trying to hit you and hit you very hard and even like the slower, like more, the less rap, hip hop oriented songs, they're still like, they had a force to them, you know? Like Take Me Home is like 80s dark synthy type vibe, and but it's hitting you hard. Something about this album has been so laid back. And I appreciate the difference, because all the songs have been great. I really, really like this song. Um, <laughs> I talked about how I'd want to avoid saying really so much, but yeah, truly, th this might be my favorite I've heard so far, but also 
and to my previous point that I just made, Rocky isn't soft at all. That's hitting you hard as well. But in like a more soundtracky type vibe, not like uh what the hell am I listening to type vibe, <laughs> like with the leaders. Um all right. Not too late, I know is the last song in the album. Um let's get into it. Ooh, let's get into it. I don't think this is purposeful, or maybe I have a bad ear. That kind of reminds me of Dazzling Light a little bit. It's the melody, kind of. <laughs> No, that that kind of is. I, I I haven't intently listened to that song like recently enough for me to pick up immediately, like be able to tell yes or no. But it feels like it to me, even if it's not like actually what the the like piano the melody is. And that's what it, it's it's giving dazzling light. Okay, your song. First of all, just a great sounding verse, but it's very it's a very nice verse. There have been a lot of inspirational lyrics, excuse me, um, throughout their entire discography that I've been through, um, and obviously that resonates with a lot of people, and it resonates with me too. Um, but that's more of like a, like a general type of feeling, you know, this, this first kind of, a <laughs> this first kind of hit a little bit. I know it's not my fault. <laughs> hey, I gotta get myself together. What the fuck am I doing? Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not a person that seeks to put my business onto other people because I don't want to, you know, place that on them. Uh, I don't know. I, I've i been thinking a lot. This is my kid personal. I'm sorry. I've been thinking a lot about my past as an adult, you know, um, and dealing with the different struggles that I have. Um, and I recently, within the last couple of months, I've been feeling good, you know, like actively. 
I feel like I've made changes in my life that have bettered my standing emotionally and mentally. So, I am in an upward trajectory. I'm feeling good. I'm enjoying things. Um, but, yeah, I don't... I get just... That verse... This whole song, you know, it kind of... It hits. Alright. I'm sorry. Alright, let's keep going. I've mentioned um, one of the previous albums I've listened to um, that their pre their final like their ending songs always seem to be like the most hopeful or inspirational. Like it's it's very intentional that they're the last you know um, the last in, the last feeling you have listening to ATs is like hope. It's inspirational. And like I said, it's very intentional and I think that's why they resonate so deeply with a lot of people. Especially all right, that's a whole tangent that I'm gonna avoid. Um but yeah, I don't know. So I've never listened to a song and felt like this. I don't know. This is I mean, the song is beautiful just like sounding. But I'm thinking about Mingi's struggles and like a song like this, it, it kind of, I don't know, just makes me think about the stuff that he was going through and like what he needed to tell himself to keep going. And again, I hate projecting feelings from myself onto other people, but I think a big reason why Mingi outside of music has been like the main guy for me I mean, obviously, like, bias, but, like, just generally, before I even thought about that, um, is because I knew when I learned about what, like, his hiatus and how open he was with how he was struggling, like, resonated with me a lot. I've, not for similar reasons, and maybe not to the extent, or maybe he not to the extent that I was, um, I don't, but I've felt the same way for a long time, actually. Um, so yeah, you know, it kind of felt like that, like, uh, that relationship or whatever. Um, I don't know. I don't want to make this video too long. This is a great album. I really wish, I really wish I did not have this reaction because I didn't think this would ever happen to me. Um, but yeah, it's late and <laughs> I guess it got to me. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Peace.